Good morning, folks. Today we'll hit space weather and what we're watching this week. After a long hiatus, the Big Burb is back on YouTube. We've got a study confirming the short solar activity cycles we've been discussing quite a bit recently. And folks, the first events of the upcoming tour have been announced and tickets are open. But let's start with our star. And we find the last 24 hours brought several coronal motions, even a few snaps off the limb. There are no Earth-directed CMEs, but we have seen a slight resurgence in solar flaring. Couple M-class events, several C-class flares. The coronal hole has crossed central heliographic longitudes, and its solar wind will arrive in the next day or so here. Let's take a look at flaring in 131 angstroms, and it's the larger departing sunspot groups on the right delivering those flares. Pretty much all impulsive. Minor plasma ejections only. We've got sunspots all over, though, so we'll have to keep an eye out for more. First up on the list of links today is the newest episode of The Big Burb. Rocky is back with our EMP-proof vehicle, and we explain the long break in development, as well as where we are now, how the air starter brought us to a wall we are breaking down piece by piece. We have a paper here that hits on the shorter cycles of solar activity. We've been discussing how there is a 5.9 month, basically a half year cycle in upticks on the sun, which includes a three month half cycle. These folks looked over just two solar cycles and determined it's 6.1 months, but with an error range that does include the previous findings. Basically, a solid confirmation of those activity cycles, which have let us forecast the last three upticks in activity. By the way, the next big jump up is just weeks away. Lastly, folks, we've talked a bit about our Blitz tour. We are hoping to have more events booked in the coming days, but right now we've got three. The two options on the right are actually two options for the same event. One is just the evening and the other is for an overnight stay at the venue. Right now we've got Lexington, South Carolina, Buffalo, New York, and Elgin, Arizona on the list. Grab your tickets today as this is likely our last tour before the Observer Ranch opens several months from now. Links are below in the video description box. We greatly appreciate your support. Again, those tickets and all your resources are linked below. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.